these are all the lower levels. So I figure we can try out the trilobite farm with them. And if they die, they were always expendable. In any case, their targeting is all set to low. So it is my hope that they will just stay in the river. That's the idea. Uh, they stay in the river, kill everything in it. Once I turn them too aggressive. Aggressive. You're aggressive. I need to copy your settings. There we go. Now they're all on aggressive. You guys just go around, kill the fish, kill the trilobites eventually, hopefully. They're definitely killing stuff. Can't help but notice. They're also getting further and further down the river. And occasionally popping up. Like a little doom squad they are. Anyway, I have higher ambitions today than just setting loose the otter army and that is mostly i'm gonna try and and try is definitely the operative word here to find a crab and tame it we have a catapult we have boulders we have dino gates to hopefully trap it inside i even have cryopods that I made from this drop that's they're definitely killing on the fish I'd prefer it if you focused on the trilobites though guys honestly here's the little dungeon maybe we'll show you that later if you're good basically we have everything we need to theoretically at least tame a crab the problem becomes you know getting to a crab especially without like running into a pack of ravagers and I've been scouting around with just me so that I didn't have to risk my iguanodon and I have found a giant pack of ravagers to avoid other than the one pack we know to avoid though we are on our own as far as navigating goes now obviously the crabs they like to hang out by the rivers and they're fairly common by the rivers it's just not running into anything we can't handle between then now, the yearlings uh, are awful, but they tend to lose interest pretty quick, so we can just run by them. Raptors, we can't outrun, uh, but we can generally take, as long as there's not too many of them. The biggest threat is undoubtedly the Ravagers. They're just a lot more combat capable than the Iguanodon, and they're pretty fast, so... Now, down by the rivers, there's also lots of spinos, but generally, they're not as much of a problem as they could be, just because they, they are very attached to their rivers. There's a crab, though. That's good. And it's far away from the water, which is nice, because it can't grab you if it's not in water. Hello, Mr. Spino. Goodbye, Mr. Spino. Oh, Spino didn't like that. I think that's what's after us. I assume. Oh my god. What the hell? It's a pyromane. Run away. I don't want it. Leave me be. Oh, and that broke my chest piece right away. That crab is dead. Oh, there's the pyromane. It's all put out in the water, but probably still dangerous. What level are you? 120. That's actually very, very good. Step one is to lure the crab. All the way onto dry land, where it can't grab me. Oh no, Ravagers. No, we are so far not doing so hot. Scorpion we can take, though, probably. There's the other Ravagers. Take them to the crab. Hopefully the crab will eat them. One of the downsides to having a herbivore for a mount is they are very slow to heal and you can't force feed them. Oh wow, okay. All of our armor is gone. Luckily, we've got the pulsating tentacle plants, which heal us for reasons I don't want to dissect. Okay, what are you on passive? We should probably put you on neutral and leave you behind. Although we're naked now, so if we get caught by those ravagers, we're done. See, the idea is that we get on the diplodocus, and because it has a really high health stat, we can stay on while the crab attacks us. To put out those dino gates. Now whether it actually works out that way. I questionable. Seriously questionable. Where the heck did the crab go? Don't tell me the ravagers killed it. That would suck. I see no crab 
I suspect it is dead. Is that raptor pack fighting a crab? That seems like it will not go well for them. There's a 90 and a 20. I mean, I could have hoped for a higher level, but at this point, you know, a crab's a crab, right? We can have a nice little starter crab. Oh, run. I wish they weren't so close to the spy now, so that when I ran from them, I ran straight into that guy, though. Uh, okay, run. Too close to the crabs. Maybe we should put you on passive flee. That's uh, more likely to save your life in this situation, isn't that? And we should be able to find you later, thanks to the tracking. It's Diplodocus time. We can't deploy it without a gray over it. I did not realize. We're gonna have to try to do this with an iguanodon. I figured the cryo thing, the pods, would still work. Come on. Don't pathfind around my trap. Come in my trap. Is that good enough? I don't know. Uh, are you stuck? No, you're not stuck even a little. Okay. You just climbed right out. You do have a baby. Run. You're kind of stuck. Like in that little corner. I suppose I might as well give it a go. You should be able to tell pretty quick if we can get a good angle on this thing. I think I'm hitting it in the right spot. I mean, I suppose if not, we're at least going to get... We're going to get a lot of a granite polymer. Wait, it had a baby. Where's the baby? Come with me, Carganos. We are in danger. Here, uh, hold all the stuff from your dead mom or dad, please. And yeah, uh, we have a Carganos now. Not at all the way I intended to have a Carganos, but good enough for a starter crab, I suppose. Baby Carganos, where the heck did it go? Was it eaten? Okay, let me see. Baby creatures. We should probably take this little guy home. Before we come out and try to do this again. He's a low level and on the scale of babies is actually pretty low. And he's definitely pretty slow. So, you know, he may not make it home. It's an uh, uphill battle for sure. Oh yeah, there's tons of raptors over here. He's essentially a free baby, so you know, if we do lose him, it's not that big of a deal. Especially since he's a low level. Level 50 that also has a baby. Well, it looks like our Carcanos was killed, our, our fake, by Piranha. You win this round, Piranha. Kill this Carcanos, I get his baby. Oh, it has two babies, even better. Why are you after me? Just because I was planning on stealing your children, honestly. Now, all we have is primitive everything. Hopefully the Stegos help us out here. From what I understand, Arrows do more damage than bullets, so... Oh, looks like the Stegos are winning, that's nice. Or at least putting up a real good fight. Where are your kids? Are they dead? Because, you know, if your kids are dead, I care about you a lot less. Oh, that's a gorgeous yeeling. Yeah, it looks like the kids are dead. The spine nose right there. Okay, the spine nose right there. We're a little bit slow, and that's not gonna help. We're gonna have to drop all that extra stuff. Oh, there's a, a night owl guy. As if, if I remember correctly, those guys are really, 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 really dangerous on aberration because it's like always night here. I think they can pull you off your mount. I'm not entirely sure on that one, but... Oh. Oh, no. Please just be a piranha. That was weird. We almost hallucinated, but then we like overcame it or something. That's a regular snake and not a basilisk. Thank God. Still don't want to mess with it, but still. Earn a bunch more regular snakes. And ravagers. Oh no. Well, we're like officially in the blue zone. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm very stuck. Oh, is this how it ends for the Iguanodon? I'm gonna have to fight our way out. Go! Where the heck are we even? No, get the Stegos, not me. The Stegos. Let's hit the road. Back home. Well, that was an adventure, at least. We killed a crab, we got a baby crab, it got eaten by piranha, there... Lots of things happened. Not any of them good, but there you go. At least the Iguanodon is still alive. Oh, there's the pack of otters. Looks like they're getting pretty close to that turtle. And that will be the death of them, so... Goodbye, otters.
any case, here's what I'm thinking. Now, we are on the edge of the blue zone. The blue zone is dangerous, but it has many, many, many more crabs. So maybe we just build straight down and come at it that way. We have been doing a lot and lot, a lot, a lot of building. And naturally, of course, we've been using the fly cheat to place stuff, but still. And it's a long way down. That little river right under the waterfall has tons of crabs. I suppose we might be able to like straight zip line down to it, but we don't have a mount that can use a zip line, so we'd be on our own completely. I was really hoping we'd get one of those crabs and that they'd be easier and not surrounded by horrible things. As you can see, this is the dungeon. You know, beautiful view, kind of, for some of them. This is the otter cell. It's the one that's the dampest, really. This is the bold dog cell. It's all very dark and and horrible. But you know, that's that's how dungeons meant to be. So we're just being traditional. And even though we killed a crab, we got no polymer from it because we put it on the baby crab that was eaten by piranhas. I just realized. Well, that's unfortunate.